，你好，你好，你好。很高兴终于能和你相见，来好好聊聊。嗯，我感觉我不能提供任何特别的帮助，但是我知道我不仅仅需要靠我自己的能力。是的This will be yours, Mike, and a lot more of it. But we have a few things to sort out first. I don't understand. You are a loyal servant. It has been noted. So is your disgusting habit. It displeases me that a member of staff could be as weak and pathetic as the saps I exploit with this stuff. Consider that a down payment for your promotion. I want you to start doing some real work for me. With real money and real ambition involved, sound good? Yeah, thanks, Bruce. What's this? I didn't bring you to this island for a holiday. I brought you here to test your loyalty to me. There is a man not far from here, enjoying a little break with some acquaintances. I want you to kill this man in cold blood.
Yes, you will. Woman, ding shi zai shi zi jia shan. We woman liu le bao xie. Shi jing woman de zui. Yin wei ta ai ni. Yu guo ni xiang ta dao gao. Ni jiang de dao yong sheng. Amen. All right, you must be Mike. So tell me, Mike, what's a nice young guy like you doing in such a scary place? Hello, Mike. I think he's a little bit shy. No charge. The book saved my life years ago. Hello, Mike. Sorry it's taking so long for me to meet with you. That's no problem. Anyway, we're really excited that you want to join our organization. The medical test will last a few days and then you'll be able to go over. There's a couple based in Hong Kong that will help you settle in and tell you places where you'll be able to serve in. Mm, thanks. That's great. Hey, no problem. We want to serve those who feel called to overseas mission. And just on a more personal note, I was at a church service where you shared your testimony. Pretty powerful stuff. So, do you remember me? I wasn't sure whether I'd come here, but... You told me that this book had changed your life, and that it had saved me the day I tried to attack you. When you said that, I was high on drugs, and yet I still thought you were the crazy one. When I got home that day, I threw this book onto the ground and started to panic. I had a big time drug mafia boss after me. I was in great debt to a drug dealer pimp, and I was widely addicted to heroin. In some ways, I felt annoyed that you hadn't let that guy finish me off. So what happened? What changed? 
Soon after that, I got arrested and spent some time in prison. It was only a few weeks, but I really needed that. For some miraculous reason, I managed to kick the habit, but it certainly wasn't easy. When I got out, I felt fresh and invigorated, but that didn't last long. A henchman came round to knock me down and trash my place, and at that point I started to think that there was no way out. And when I was in the ground, in a lot of pain and emotionally drained, I saw that Bible that you'd given me. Now for me, any time someone had mentioned religion, I just thought that it was the biggest pile of hypocritical garbage available. But I still picked it up. I started to read it for the first time. And you know why? It was because of you. I thought to myself, this girl did something and said something to me that I'd never heard before. I decided to read other parts of the Bible because I kept thinking about Jesus, thinking about Jesus dying on the cross for all the people. And I found that the Bible was telling me that he died on the cross for me. I couldn't really understand it, so I decided to go to church, feeling like a complete misfit. People there were quite nice, but I found it a bit boring. The minister there started to explain things to me, and he told me that every single person has lived a life that means they go to hell. And the more I thought about it, the more I accepted that nobody is perfect. Everybody sins, and that a perfect God cannot accept any of us, and that we must go to hell. But for Jesus. That's why I am so thankful that despite all my bad things, God still loves me. He loves everyone so much that he sent his son down to earth to die on the cross for our sins so that we can have eternal life and not go to hell. The impact of this is so amazing. That's what makes Christianity different from all the other religions and any other walk of life. Anything else is about what man can do to get to a God or to get to where they want to be. The Bible is about a relationship with God because of Jesus and me doing the things because God is in my heart. I had the opportunity to kill a man once and if I had, it would have meant a lot more power and money. But I couldn't. I used to regret not carrying it out because it brought me a lot more grief. But then I realised that God was using this grief to bring me closer to Jesus and the greatest day of my life was the day that I prayed to ask Jesus into my heart. I'm so thankful that you came here to share this to me. This is such an encouragement. Well, my life hasn't been easy since then. I've still faced the consequences of some of my past actions, and I still do and say some dreadful things. But it makes such a difference knowing that Jesus is in my heart. He's the reason I've changed. Not anything that I've done, but because of what he's done. And I felt I needed to tell you this today, because I'm going to China tomorrow. China? Why? Since coming to church regularly, I've started to learn about the worldwide church, and I have a burden to help. I feel that this is God's calling in my life. And because of you, because of the way that God has used you in my life, I have a particular heart for China. Hello, 啊,真棒,啊,但是我不认为我有多特别。
That book saved my life years ago, and it has saved yours today.